Welcome to the opening night of the 2009 Melbourne International Film Festival. Tonight's opening film is Bellabo, the political thriller starring Anthony LaPaglia. Let's go join the guests on the red carpet. Now, what do you think the reaction is going to be like? Look, I think we've got the families of the Balabo Five here and Ramos Horta and the Team Marie's Ego here who wrote one of the songs for the film. So I think having the Team Marie's here too will make it very moving. You know, we share a lot of history, Australia and East Timor, and I think this film kind of, you know, helps bond those two countries together. So, you know, I'm hoping people find it very moving. It's a tragedy that the assassination of the, of the five journalists of Roger East, of course, who was uh, killed by being shot in the back. I think people are going to be crying at the end of it and be angry as well. It's going to be a great film. It'll have an impact. Very, very uh, pleased always to be here in, in uh, Melbourne uh, and for the premiere. My only hope is that uh, it is some sort of justice to the newsmen who were killed, some sort of justice to the people of East Timor, uh, and that we put the past behind, because it has been 35 years of anguish for the families. The dead are not going to return. We just honour their memory, and the film is a tribute to them, to their courage, and uh, I hope that it will not uh, be ignite a new controversy between Australia and Indonesia because these are historical facts, historical truth and uh, I hope that uh, Indonesian side also understand in this perspective. Would you say it's been one of your most memorable t to film? To shoot, uh, yeah, to shoot in uh, Darwin and East Timor. The, the Timorese people were amazing and um, it's that thing, you know, I came back from there and I felt like I had to change my entire life and it was quite a profound experience working there. And then after a month of LA, LA you kind of slide back into your life. Hello, Danielle from City Search. how are you? I'm good, Danielle, how are you? Good, good, good. Now yeah. you guys look, look like you've got to have a lot of fun together. Oh, we've had such a wonderful time together. It's, it's like a reunion today to get back together and see each other. Uh, Tom and Tom and Mark and Nathan live in Melbourne and Damon and I live in Sydney and Nathan also lives in LA so it's really we don't get to see much of each other so yeah it's been really great to catch up. So you sort of became like brothers when you were when you were filming? Oh yeah we're, we got sick of each other <laughs> stuck together all the time yeah. Myth is always like that you know we're, we're very proud of the fact that we don't just have feel-good stuff we have real cutting-edge stuff so although it's a film about a very difficult and tragic time in Australia's journalistic history it's also a wonderful marking of the fact that the film festival is a really signature event in Melbourne and uh, Melbourne is the place to be for events. Blessed is opening tomorrow night, but it's thrilling to be in my hometown for the Melbourne Film Festival, and I'm thrilled to see uh, Balibo tonight too. I've got a lot of friends involved with that as well, but excited about Blessed tomorrow night. And guys, of the 300 films showing over the next couple of weeks, how many are we going to get to? We've seen all of them already. What's, what's your favourite? Josh. Yeah, it's, uh, woo, what is my favourite? Just, just, just tell, give me one, give me one. Uh, oh, look, I, look, to be honest, I'm keen to see Blessed. I'm seeing the, the Anna Kokonos one uh, tomorrow night. That's, Absolutely. I'm really, yeah, I don't know, I'm really interested. How many of the 300 have you seen or do you think you will see? Uh, just the ones I'm forced to see because I'm interviewing the director. Yep. So, you know, so, so then when I interview them, I can um, seem like le less, like, slightly less, I still seem like an idiot, but more, more than I've just watched, the, read the Wikipedia entry. But out of the 300, um, a few, yep. one in particular. Yep. Um, towards the end of the uh, the end of the festival. So, can you recommend that one? Brand new day, bloody oath. Yeah, yeah, of course I can. Yeah. And can you tell us a bit about your the film you're starring in? Uh, it's called Brand New Day, and it's a musical comedy. And we're closing the festival, and hopefully it'll uh, be probably more fun than this film tonight. <laughs> what a fantastic way to kick off the festival! Almost 300 films are showing at five venues across Melbourne. Jump on citysearch.com.au to find out more information. I'm Danielle Horan for City Search. Don't miss out.